everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the Tiffany doll that my roommate gifted me. And we're going to be talking about Elsa Gate. So as you guys know, um, Elsa Gate is a weird phenomenon that was on YouTube where um, fetish or inappropriate content was shown to children disguised as children's content. So it was like poop, pee, injections, sexual content, um, violence, things of that nature. It was shown to children without their parents' permission, and they were exposed to this type of content. And it has had a large effect on the children that have viewed it so far. Um, it still exists today. Um, there's still a lot of this content being made. And if you see any of this content, you should flag it. Um, it's definitely not something that you want people to be seeing because the next generation should not be exposed to this type of thing. I'm talking about the Generation Z, um, the younger younger end of Generation Z is being exposed to this. Um, basically, that's who's being exposed to this type of content for the most part. Um, so... What I was exposed to as a child was not anything like this. Um, I was exposed to some violent stuff, but nothing nothing majorly sexual or poop-oriented fetishes or injections. <coughs> mm. So the only thing I was exposed to as a child was, I think the first adult thing I was exposed to was Sickle and Alley. Not sure if you guys remember that. I might be dating myself. I don't remember where it was even from. Some old um, puppet show that was for adults. Um, it aired at like, I don't know, like real late at night or maybe in three in the morning. I don't know. But it was some old puppet show for adults. I was exposed to this thing and I thought it was children's content. It was not. Um, my parents caught me sneaking out of the bedroom to watch it with them. Because I thought it was I thought it was fun kids content and I thought they were watching children's content, but it's for adults. I thought it was like the funniest thing ever, um, but it was actually adult content. Um, but it didn't have like too much of an effect on me. Um, I did tell other kids that I was watching it, and I think some of them might have been jealous that I got to watch it and they didn't. Um, but other than that. Um, I don't think it had like a huge effect on me as a kid to be able to watch this um, adult puppet show because it wasn't really that dirty or that violent. It was just silly. So that was my first interaction with adult content. Then I think I watched, um, I believe I watched um, Red Skull and Devil Doll when I was around seven. And that was kind of another silly show about a talking skull and a talking devil. Um, it was just this little silly show. And then there was an angel that the devil was in love with. And it was just like, it was a silly show. And I don't really think it had any negative um, effect on me either. A little bit violent sometimes. And um, it had, um, it had like um, maybe some swearing. But nothing like super bad about that, um, but it was more of an adult show than a children's show. So, um, so there was that. And then when I got a little bit older, there was Happy Tree Friends, and that was like a very violent um, children's show. Well, it wasn't really a children's show. I think it was meant for teens, but it was like very, very violent, and it resembled a children's show, but it was for teenagers. And it was very, very violent. I was around 12 when I was into that. And some of my friends, their parents didn't like that I was into that. And they told me, told them not to hang with me because I was into this <clears throat> violent animal killing show. So there was that. Um, I was also into Pokemon and some people gave me criticism for that. But I don't really consider Pokemon like an adult show aimed at kids, an adult show disguised as a kid's show. It's not really, it's actually a kid's show, it's just violent for some people, but I don't really consider Pokemon that problematic. And then there was Homestar Runner. Homestar Runner I was exposed to around maybe 13 or 14, and that was actually for teens and adults, so I was around the right age for that, but I wasn't really super mature. 
But I was around the right age group for that, so that didn't really affect me being exposed to that. So, yeah, I wasn't really exposed to a lot of adult content. Um, well, I guess I was exposed to the Chucky movies around, I guess, 12 as well, too. Um, but that didn't really have a huge effect on me either. So there's that. Um, yeah, um, I don't really think... Um, the movies and like TV shows I was exposed to too much as a teen and a child really had like too much of a terrible effect on me. Like there was dirty jokes in the Nickelodeon shows that I was exposed to. Didn't really have a terrible effect on me. Same with the Disney shows. Some dirty jokes thrown in there. Didn't really have too much bad effect on me. I didn't grow up with anything like super bad like the Elsa Gate. So I can't say from experience how this will affect people because I've never experienced anything like these kids have watched. So I gotta say the Elsa Gate stuff is really strange. Um, I don't know what it's going to do to people really, but um, I don't really think it's good for kids to be seeing this type of content. It's just not very good content for them. So if you see it just some... Um, Try to report it and get rid of it. Um, they're going to keep popping up forever probably because it's a new thing. They keep creating this type of content. It's created by pedophiles and they're going to keep creating it. Um, and there's not much that you can really do about it. Um, they're going to keep creating this content because it started... It probably started way before 2016. It's just nobody noticed it until 2016. I have a feeling it probably started, like, way before then. It's just people didn't notice it right away. Um, I have no idea when it actually started, but... Um, everybody's saying that it started in 2016, but... It could have started as early as, like, 2012, for all we know. Um, the first video, who knows when the first video was actually made, because... This content has been around for quite a long time. And you don't know how long um, they have been in production with this content or how long the buildup was to make this content. So how long this was planned for, nobody really knows. Um, because the characters they use are Spider-Man and Elsa, which are pretty well-established characters. Like Elsa came out in 2012 and Spider-Man's been around for like a really long time, so you never know how long they were in the middle of creating this content. But, you know. And now they're using different characters for this content. They're using Sonic um, and some other, like, um, Poppy Playtime and some other shows that are popular with little kids now. And it's something to watch out for. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now.